Hello and welcome to the Rapid Reviews video review of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Now the review on the site is of the Xbox version and the video review is of the PS4 version. I was playing it on the PS4 Pro um, and it is a 720p. Now Spongebob marks the return of one of the most popular games 17 years ago. If you were a child 17 years ago, you would have probably picked up this game and played it ah, on the Xbox or PS2 or I think it was even on the GameCube. Away, um, my and I've got to say, your first thing you'll notice is they have well, not gone half the on the remaster. Again, eh? The graphics well, have been overhauled to 2020 expertly and it's almost like you're playing a cartoon. Um, it follows C of the Crash Bandicoot and Spyro trilogy, um, just showing you how, in fact, they should remaster a game these days. There has been some remasters out previously, which, including Wonderful 101, which don't really show any signs of being remastered, but this definitely does. Um, the soundtrack is amazing if you've seen the show it sounds and feels exactly like you're in an episode of Spongebob um, it's it's very much a nostalgic game if you loved it 17 years ago you'll love it now if you hated it 17 years ago you're probably gonna hate it now um, it's very kid friendly there is lots of jokes um, there's laughs to be had at the characters, the, you know, general Spongebob banter. Um, my little girl, she's five, she laughed hard at some of the things that came out of the characters' mouths. Um, yeah, if you're five, this is a game you must pick up. It's got about a ten hour campaign, um, main campaign, but then you can go back and unlock various... Um, things like uh, go around and unlock extra paths or try and get all of the golden spatulas um, rank up you know your life gauge on Spongebob um, you also got a I'd say multiple choice characters but you actually get to play um, Sandy and Patrick um, but they're not as playable, I don't think, as Spongebob. Um, Patrick felt very um, sluggish um, and Sandy similar, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> it did grind on me a bit that every time I got health or hit an enemy, they'd say the same words. And over 10 hours, it does get a bit repetitive. Um, it, <laughs> its graphics are a massive improvement, but gameplay-wise, they have not changed anything. Um, not that I can tell while playing it. Um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> that that's really how I feel about it. Um, there's a couple of new modes and online uh, multiplayer, which is like a horde mode. Um, you can battle the robots wave after wave, but that dialogue that gets repeated, you know it does grind on you. Um, I think there is about 27 islands in the horde mode. Um, it's about 30 to 40 minutes long if you complete the whole thing. Um, you know, I, I have to agree with the written review um, whereby they could have done a lot more. Um, it feels a bit Ooh, feels a bit last gen. It looks lovely, but gameplay wise, they could have updated it. They could have made the multiplayer a bit better. They could have made um, I don't know. They could have made some improvements. I'm quite worried personally that a lot of games are getting remastered when they're not really. They're just getting graphically updates or the odd thing, if you're going to remaster a game, remaster it. 
get rid of all the bad things and make it a game we want to go back and play. Um, as I written review um, stated on the Xbox, um, missions are rather straightforward. I mean, I think it's a three plus game. You five year olds, six year olds can pick this up, play it, which is quite good. I mean, it's good for a, a family game. Um, and then, you know, as the verdict says, um, you know, our review, written reviewer nearly perfected the game. I didn't have the patience to go back in once I'd completed it. Um, he said, it's not much genuine fun to be had. It would make sense for a kid to enjoy this release as it keeps them busy for a very long time because it's not overly complex. However, as an adult, a game that was best enjoyed in 2003 was not enjoyable in 2020. It may be best served as a memory. Uh, I think he's given it a two star out of five. I'm pushed to better that. I, I would suggest that I would probably give it about the same score. Um, and as he said, he's closing line, SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom, drops on the deck and flops like a fish. Hard. I'll leave you with some of the gameplay in the background from the first couple of levels, so no real spoilers. Um, enjoy the review and uh, see you next time.